Well, as we've mentioned before, of course, art fairs and even gallery houses have a significant need to be well known and to be seen by the public. And of course, the importance then of getting the um, uh, market out there and making people understand exactly the significance of art is quite phenomenal. Now, Lerato Bereng from Stevenson Gallery joins us in studio uh, this afternoon to unpack perhaps the sentiment of getting into the art space. Lerato, thank you so much for the time. Thank you for joining us as well this afternoon. Thank you for having me. So, is it, is it a case of love at first sight when you decided I'm going to get into art. <laughs> well, a little bit. Um, I was actually interested in the other side of the business and I wanted to Which be an artist. Which is the money artist. side. Well, well <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm still interested in that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, I wanted to be an artist and I studied fine art and, and mm. subsequently was more interested in other artists' work than my own. Yeah. The significance then of being part of a gallery as opposed to just being on your own and being able to help others as they attempt to perhaps, you know, uh, allow their work to be a whole lot more popular, garner a whole lot more interest. How difficult is that? And, and you know, uh, perhaps adapting to what people like at that point in time. Um, I think it's really wonderful to be able to work with artists. I mean, it's a broad scope of artists that we work with, so mm. you're exposed to a whole lot of things. Um, it's obviously also very interesting to start to understand collectors and their interests, yeah. um, curators, museums, um, working closely with museums, putting on shows by some of our artists. So we do get to, you know, to cover a lot of ground in terms of, um, yeah, the way that that the business functions. Yeah. How do you determine what's the right uh, um, you know, art piece to go into your gallery, for example, on a day-to-day -day basis? That must be the toughest thing though, surely? Yeah, um, it's tough and exciting. I think what uh, we pride ourselves on is looking at work that really is relevant socio-politically to where we are in the world right now, yeah. um, but also that transcends geography, that can speak to an international audience. So it's important for us at all times to, to work with artists that are doing things that are making you think, that are making you see the world in a different way. And, sure. and that really is the core of, of the work, and that's why it's a joy. So I splash paint on a, on a, on a <laughs> canvas, I come to you and I say, I'd really love my work to be showcased like some of these. <laughs> what happens at that point in time? Well, so the process. No, <laughs> firstly, no. Um, but but <laughs> you haven't even seen my work yet. <laughs> you splashed it on the canvas. Um, I think we just we keep an eye out. We look around. We travel yeah. a lot and go to various biennales and exhibitions and studio visits. And yeah. very humbly, artists invite us to their ex to their you know pop up exhibitions, and we go and check it out. And yeah. if there's something there there's something there there's no need to convince anybody so mm. that's really our process it's quite organic and it, it we come across artists in various ways yeah. so you guys just showcase the art right it's not as though you actually buy the art from the artist and then resell it at a later stage no. right that, yes that's not how it works you're not not a rent we're not, we're not, not a rental, rental, so to speak. no 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 okay. no absolutely so how much interest then do you get from people and how do you how, how do you make sure that people keep asking to come to your gallery, come to you know, <laughs> be placed, in, uh, you know, at a Stevenson? Um, sure. It's a difficult question. I mean, I think it comes to the core of who we are and the way we function as a business mm. and that we really are people oriented and it, it is about the artists. The artists are par of paramount importance. Yeah. Galleries would not exist without artists. That really is, is true. So um, it's, it's less of a how do people come and approach us. There are yeah. a lot of artists that we very much, you know, are, we, all of our artists are very privileged to be working with and, you know, to be afforded the opportunity to, to represent because if you represent somebody, you're, you're standing and you're speaking for them. So yeah. we don't take that lightly, and I think that's what makes a difference. Of course, the important question here is the price tag. So mm -hmm. at Stevenson, if I was to perhaps come to a Stevenson gallery myself and decided I'd like to buy an art piece, I mean, what are the ranges here with regards to, those, <laughs> to, the, to the prices? Surely, <laughs> I, I consider them to be exorbitant. But, I mean, I don't know all the prices, right? And it, it's, yeah. it's great to do, go do your homework. Um, sure, it really rate it's it's very let me explain how the pricing sure. situation works. Yeah. So it's pretty broad in that it uh, pricing of an artist's work depends a lot on their career, where they are um, in terms of their accomplishments, as yeah. with 
pretty much every industry, right? Yeah, yeah. So your accomplishments, your accolades go a lot into what, what your work is priced at. Obviously, the effort, the making of it. Um, but it, it also depends very much, um, I guess, on, on understanding... Uh, yeah, I mean, not not overpricing people too early, not underpricing yeah. people so it's devalued. It's so trying to balance, process, but also it, it's an interesting thing because you're you're doing it on an international scale. Yeah. And we're we're in South Africa. We're dealing with rands. We're pricing works, you know, sure. initially in rands. So is it ever difficult to them that you price somebody's work at a particular range and they said no, that's actually not what it's worth? Does that happen quite often? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, everything is a negotiation. It's a relationship. So yeah. we say, hey, I thought it should be 100 rand. You'll be like, I think it yeah. should be 100,000 rand. <laughs> and then we find a way. Okay. You know? So it is definitely, we don't make the sole decision about yeah. pricing. Rato, appreciate the time. Really, really thankful for you joining us in studio here at the SABC. Good luck with the rest of it, of course. And I will be headed to a Stevens, I promise. Thank I'll you. try and yes, get Yes, I'll hold you to that. Or maybe I even bring a painting myself. Who knows? Don't do that. Rato <laughs> there from Stephen Gallery as well. they uh, giving us the latest just with regards to the gallery industry, right? And just how things fare from that point of view. We continue with our art focus right after the short break. Do stay tuned.